We're in the city today. Teo, Fred, Solomon, being behind the camera. After doing last video, everyone, including me, just trying to hit bare rooftops again. Like last night, I think we hit a rooftop. Went to the hospital, a different hospital. It's the hospital that's actually working. We went there, went to the top floor. And since then, everyone's just like, yo, I'm trying to hit some more rooftops. But before we get into that, I'm going to teach you guys five easy steps how to wheelie. I know, basic video. But first step, you need a bike. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Come down here. Man. Before we actually get into the wheelie, we're going to run through the basics first of what you actually need. Of course, you need either an LH1 or a C100 collective bike. Link in the description. You need a back brake. Now, my friend here, Bean, has a front brake. That is not needed. I've never, <laughs> ever owned a front brake on any of my bikes. But this guy's making me get into a front brake because the way he's doing endos looks sick. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, you need a bike. You need a back brake. They're the two main things. Now, this is more like the preparation. This ain't really a step. You want to have your seat a little bit higher. Higher than usual. This okay. makes the balance point. That's something you guys need to learn about if you don't know already. The balance point is the point where you can wheelie your bike without using your brake. You're literally balanced it's quite hard to get to but once you learn it you learn it yeah depending on how high your seat is depending on how high the balance point is so with your seat higher your balance point will be lower it's hard to explain but the yeah. wheel will be like lower whereas if you're like if your seat's all the way low you're going to be like wheeling like this but if your seat's higher you'll be wheeling like this so start wheeling learning how to wheelie that's why everyone has their seat higher all right now let's get into the first step you want to have a light gear you don't want to be pedaling in no hard gears like when you see us cranking through the city like popping it up like you, obviously you're not at that stage yet also throughout this video i'm going to make it so you can pause the video after the first step i want you to pause it try what i said come back to the video but we're going to learn right now trust me we're going to learn if you're watching this video right now and you can't wheelie after these steps, I promise you'll be able to wheelie. But you want to be in a light gear, so I'm going to choose gear three. It's a bit too light. It's on the third cog. It all depends. See, yeah. Bean said it's too light, but on my bike, well, all bikes are different. The gear ratio is different. So mine is obviously one by 11, one by 11 or 10. So like my light gears are quite light. So like a three would be the equivalent to like your I've got bigger cassette than you though, so yeah, it's, it's, all, it's all varies, isn't it? Yeah, literally. You don't want to be in a high gear to start off with. Low gear, seat high, that's the first step. All right, cool. So once you've got that bike in this right, correct gear, it's, it's going to be the crucial step. Popping up. So if, if you're right footed, I like, I learned like this, basically left foot down, right foot up. So if you're left foot down and you go like this, like you basically preload it. And then when your right foot gets to the two o'clock position in line with the frame, you pop up and sit down it's gonna take practice it's not gonna just snap like that overnight but yeah left foot down and then right foot up always cover your brake if you don't cover your brake then that's when you're gonna start landing in your head also wear a helmet as well we don't wear helmets because we're professionals already <laughs> but slap a helmet on when you're learning like being said use your dominant foot my dominant foot is my left foot so i'm gonna pedal around say this is my left foot once the left foot gets up here you wanna you don't wanna like push down to push up you want to yeah. just give it a little pop with the shoulders, a little... Uh, and a... <laughs> you know, foot. My left foot is my dominant. So I've got to wait until it gets to this part here. When it's at yeah, this that's... part, you see, oh. I didn't even lift there. That was a pedal. When you pedal, it lifts. So all you need then is your arms. Practice trying that. Practice this. Dominant foot, lifting it up. Get the wheel above the ground. Pop. Practice that. Once you've got the second step out of the way and you've got used to popping the bike up to a certain height, then that is technically, believe it or not, a wheelie. You get in the front wheel off the ground, then you just want to be going continuously. That's where people mess up. That's where I used to mess up learning because the faster you pedal without using your brake, you're just gonna and then go down. So the third step is about learning that balance point. Everyone's balance point is different, like I said already, but it is easy to find. It's, it's between the point where you don't have to use the brake and you do. So I'm gonna show you right now after you get past the second step and you can keep the bike up, this is where it looks like a balance point. So I'm going to pop the bike up in a low gear using no brake. This is a balance point. That's at the point where you can ride the bike in a wheelie without using the brake. But as you saw there, you start to speed up. That's where step four comes to it with using the brake. Using the brake is key. So step four is the brake, obviously. You can't wheelie without a brake because as Harry said, you're just going to literally keep on pedaling, you're going to go faster and faster then, and eventually you'll drop the wheel. Once you've got it up like that, tap the brake and make it come back down so you get kind of get a feel of the brake. Left foot down, right foot up in a continuous motion, press the brake and make it you will come down. See, right there, he's getting used to the brake. 
up, down, up, up down, down, up, up down, down, up, down. And then you can start learning how to press it less lightly so you don't come all the way down, but you kind of come up and then you feather it a bit and then you come down. I want you to pause the video right here and go try that. Up, down, up, down, up, down. I'm doing these steps with you guys. So I'm on full step right now. Up, down, up, down. Once you're getting used to that point, bang. Yeah. When you feel like you're about to drop back, press that brake. That's your lifesaver. This is no brake, no brake. Bang. As soon yeah. as you're about to drop back, you press that brake. It's going to save your life. Once you've got past that step, it's all about keeping it up. At the start, it's going to look scatty. You're going to be pedaling fast, pressing the brake, pedaling fast, pressing the brake. But what you don't want to do is try and chase the front wheel. You want to try to keep it at a point where you're going at a nice speed. Guys, I know this is going to be hard because I've got brake control, everyone's got brake control. But once you learn it, I promise you it's easy. You want to get it to that point, at the balance point, where you're just very lightly feathering the brake and you can just sit in that position and stay there. I'm going to show you what that looks like and I'm also going to show you what I think you guys would look like at this step as of now. Step five should look something like this. I'm pedaling at the same speed. Every time I'm about to fall back, lightly press my brake, carry on pedaling. Lightly fall back, press the brake, carry on pedaling. You see, it is almost common sense as much as it is skill. If you guys are doing this, it's not to worry. That was a prime example. That was pretty good. <laughs> if you guys are doing that, do not worry. All you need to have is faith in this back brake because I promise you it will save you. When you get to that point where you're pedaling extremely fast and you're coming back and you're slamming the brake and you're going down, instead of slamming the brake, feather it. It's all about learning your bike, do you know what I mean? When you jump on different bikes, every bike feels different. It's all about learning your bike. So don't overthink it. Don't try and do it all too fast. Just use your brain, use your mind, and you will get it. You get to the point where you don't even need someone to film you. <laughs> you see, literally guys, all it is is the brake control. I'm just pressing my brake, look. When I'm about to fall off the back, lightly tap it, lightly tap it. Keep pedaling. See, what he's doing right there, that's balance point. Just literally straight balance point, just feathering the brake. Right. You can do it a bit more slightly, you can give it a... Before I see you drop But listen guys, no bike is too heavy for anyone. So, if you feel like the bike's too heavy, Maybe put the seat higher a little bit and put it in a lower gear. Any other questions, put it in the comments, but you should be able to wheelie by now. Hello, lads. Don't yeah. mind what I look like right now. I'm super tired. I'm not gonna lie. Last night, there was a big collective meeting. Um, everyone was at the office till late, drinking. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't caught up on my sleep like I should have done, but it's because we need to work. I've had something in the works for a little while now. Can't get into too much detail right now, but there's a few things I can definitely show you right now. Not one, not two, not three, not four, but five massive Boohoo bags. Yes, so you guys can obviously tell there's something going on with Boohoo, but I'm not going to jump into anything as of yet. What we are going to do, though, is a little unbagging, let's say, and a little uh, clothing haul. I, I, I seem weird saying that. I've never done that. And yeah, but that's what we're going to run through today. We're going to get all through these, see what they've sent me now. They did tell me, go through the page, anything that I want, I can get. Now, when something like that gets put on me, I'm not good at choosing, do you know what I mean? I just told them, listen, send me whatever. So, this could be a hit or miss. Um, but there's a lot of things to get through, so there's definitely going to be a few things in there that I do like. The camera setup I got for this is the craziest one by far. Let's start off with a little bag first. See if they're going to try and violate me or not. Jumper, let's get this out, see what it's saying. I'm actually excited, you know. New clothes. Bearing in mind, these most likely... Well, I don't know yet, but these might not be clothes that I would normally wear either. What does this say? Worldwide. See, that is a certy jumper. That I'd wear. If the first jumper fits, then we know the rest will. Right. Small men's. Still a bit big for the kid, but... <laughs> you know, tuck it up a bit. It's a, it's a baggy look, innit? It's a baggy look jumper. We got a lot to get through though, so let's do this. Or is it short? Oh no, it's trousers. Oh my god, they're big. Damn, they're big. Have I messed up with the sizes here? <sighs> Gotta try it all out in it. Don't look. <laughs> <laughs> Wait one sec. Hey yo, damn! Puh. Parachute trousers, yeah. God, these are like some mad stylist type things. Dunno if I suit these to be there. <laughs> oh look at the recoil on them. Damn, we're trying new things. All right, cool. That's a little bag out of the way. I'm liking the color already. Hard. Ah, f with this. 
Oh, I just scratched my nose on the label. Yeah, it's quite of a, like a baggy look, but it looks good, man. I think this is a set, a whole track suit. Oh, look at the hood. Like, even though I don't know what is going on in the back of this jumper, it looks sick. Yeah? Yeah? Bit baggy at the bottom again, but what are these? Or oh, you can tie it up or something. What are they? <laughs> I'm not breaking it. Oh, no. I think it's just for the looks. Yeah, look at these, though. It's all quite baggy, but I think this is the type of look that these clothes have just got. Yeah, this will go with the pandas nicely as well. <laughs> okay. But yeah, look. This situation, there's a bit of recoil on these ones, too. I would never have an excuse again of, like, not having... Any clothes to wear. Because even though I have a lot of clothes, I do find myself using that excuse. Oh, coat! I have never owned a body warmer. But today, I do. Oh, it's got a hood inside as well. No, oh, savage. This is savage. I'm liking this already, whether it's going to be big for me or not. Oh, <laughs> I'm a changed man. Oh. Oh, this is it's cold. I'm gas. I'm double gas. It'll fold out. <laughs> this is sick. Body warmer with a hood. You guys know I love my hoods as well. That's going straight on the door. Oh, yeah. We're doing well so far. These might need to get rolled up or something. Look, no, because like, if I'm walking through the street, like, do I look weird? Like, is it too baggy? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, <laughs> more pants. Damn. A lot more pants. This little last bit is built for this. Or maybe a piece. If you guys are wondering, this is raised. It's like... Yeah. It's raised. Oi, that body warmer, I'm gassed over. Raw, what's this? This is like some mad knitted. Oh. This has been knitted by someone's nan. You guys are probably dying to see me try this one. Alright, cool. This one probably ain't it. <laughs> Oh, right, this one ain't it. This one is not one of one. Like, it's a sick design in that book, <laughs> bro. I don't know. I don't know. I look like a 50 year old, like, mum going to pick her kid up from school. Like, but let me try to see the back. The back's quite cool. But yeah, no, this one, I don't know. After today, I'm out a new style. Yeah. These are cool jumpers. I need jumpers as well. And like, these are good. Cargo type tracksuit. Oh, it's got things on the arms as well. Oh, the first one without a hood. It's just a plain jumper. Oh, damn. Didn't see that. What does that say? Love is in the air. <laughs> is it? I didn't even know. I think I need some new shoes as well, like, to go with all these outfits. All right, this. What vibes is this giving me? This is giving me, like, no, no, no. What vibes is that giving me? I know. This part's getting big. It will fall out the side. Oh, I think this actually was the good bag to open last as well. Yeah. I would love to wear this. But that's going to be too big. There's a lot going on. No, I want to try that t-shirt. It's actually bugging me. What was that? Oh, my chain ripped that off. I feel like I'm trying on my dad's clothes. Yeah. That's big. What is this? Oh, this is some type of like gym wear. Ooh, you're spoiling me rotten. Oh! Look at the different types of material. My head's just come through the arm. Now it just went through the other arm. What the fuck? How do I. No! I'm not even taking the piss. Oh! It's because I had to undo it. <laughs> I'm liking this. Yeah. Yeah, these body warmers. Nice. Oh, maybe I can use this to disguise the things that are too big, which is basically everything. That was much easier. Oh, should I just. No, 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 no. no. These ain't these body warmers ain't even going on the clothes source because trust me, I'm wearing these. Two last things. Oh, look at this. The t-shirts just don't work though. They're big. Look. And to end it, 
nice plain hoodie. Well, not so plain, I would say. I like the little star. So everything you can see there, minus a few things that I'm probably wearing and the two things in the background. This is everything that I've got. The pile is looking big, I can't lie. It's time to go put all of this on a clothes source. And you guys are obviously thinking, Harry, what is going on? Why do you have all these clothes? Why are Boohoo sending you all this shit? I'm going to get into that, but that is for a different video. I know, boo, unfortunately. That is for a different video. But yeah, I've got to get all this shit to get through, man. I've got to get all this on the clothes source. But I will be explaining very soon what is going on. What? Hang about. Where was you hiding? Let's say official. 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 The whole power just fell down. Are you mad? But yeah, anyway, shout out to Boohoo. I'm going to be explaining everything that's going on with them very, very soon. Remember, guys, if you did like today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. Turn on them post notifications so YouTube notify you every single time I upload a video, which is Thursdays and Sundays. You guys should know this anyway. See you all on Sunday. Be there.